I am going to weld with all three welders. I'm going to start with the Miller 150S and then the S welder 165 and then the standard bolt. They all capable of delivering about 150 amp. I'm going to check the output voltage. With the voltmeter, I'm going to check the current on all of them. I also going to check the input voltage and current using the steel in. I already tuned all three welders. I tried to weld on scrap piece and I set all of them to about 110 amps. I set this one to about 95 and this one over here to about 120. This one over here to about 107, 108 amp. The output is about 110 on all three of them. Each welder, I'm going to try to weld with the brand new welding rod, 8 inch 7018. They all set to DC positive. The incoming voltage and the incoming frequency. I will start with the Miller Max Star 150S. Now I'm checking the input current on this one. Now I'm going to weld with the S welder. Now I'm going to weld with the S welder. Now I'm checking the input current for the S welder. And now with the Thunderbolt, it's bad weather to be welding, it's raining actually, that's why I'm under the shade. All the transformer based welder will output high voltage when there is no load on the welder. This is called the open circuit voltage or OCV. This voltage should be less than 80 volt AC or DC to avoid electrical shock. Once the arc starts, the welder output voltage will drop to the welding voltage. Now I'm checking the input current of the Thunderbolt.
the first two with the Miller Max Star 150S, three and four with the Yes Welder 165, five and six with the Miller Thunderbolt. Thank you for watching. Be safe, and I'll see you later. Take care.